Well, the World Bank out with a warning this morning, saying any escalation in the fighting between Israel and Hamas could push oil to record high prices. This as we approach a month into the war with no ceasefire in sight. Joining us now is our very own Inez Ferre. Inez, I know there are a couple of scenarios that have been laid out here. Yeah, that's right, Rochelle. And this is part of an outlook report that the World Bank put out about commodities and three risk scenarios. And you mentioned it. And these are the risk scenarios that the World Bank is looking at. One is a large disruption scenario if the uh, conflict in the Middle East escalates. This is also on top, of course, of the war that's happening in Ukraine. And in that case, the World Bank says that the global oil supply would fall by six to eight million barrels per day. And that would drive up prices to between $140 and $157 per barrel. That would be a record. In a medium risk scenario, uh, that would be, or a medium disruption risk scenario, I should say, crude would reach $109 to $121 per barrel. And the case of a small disruption, oil prices would increase by a range of $93 to $102 per barrel. Now, why is this important? Well, because when you see a rise in oil prices, of course, you see a rise in many other services and goods, and one of them being food inflation. And the World Bank is focused on this, the issue of food inflation and how that would impact developing countries. So it's saying if you do see this oil disruption, expect food prices to go higher and uh, for that to impact these developing countries. Now, under the bank's baseline outlook, uh, they are saying that crude will average $90 per barrel this quarter, and it will fall to $81 a barrel next week as the global economy slows. Right now, we're looking at WTI crude prices that are just above $82 a barrel. Brent crude's above $87 a barrel. And we have seen quite a bit of volatility since the war in the Middle East broke out, and with oil prices fluctuating, going up and down over the last several weeks. The report also is pointing out that you are seeing that the conflict has had a modest impact on commodity prices. And part of this is just because of the global world uh, supply of oil, that now we are getting oil as opposed to, for example, in the decade of the 70s, uh, oil is coming from different parts of the world. You also have individual countries that have reserves, and then you also have a less of a dependency on uh, oil as countries, some countries are going green. Okay, a warning out there. Uh, looks like we're back to talking about $100 a barrel or more. Uh, Inez Ferre, thanks so much for that.